What's going on, everybody? And welcome back to episode four of our Starfield playthrough. And as you can see, we have finally upgraded our ship. We took some time off the recording uh, to, to really have a look at the, the building for the ship, buy some new upgrades. Uh, my biggest complaint that I was finding was the storage was a little lackluster. There wasn't a lot of room. We were getting a lot of companions. So I took some time <laughs> just before this recording. Apparently, I just got a cough in this game. But uh, yeah, we took some time. And as you can see, I think the ship looks beautiful. It's quite a bit bigger than what we were working with. Uh, but I think for our first go about at ship customization, it came out really nice. Uh, eventually, I want to make a, a faster, you know, more lethal, smaller ship. But for right now, for what we're doing with the crew members that we have, I decided to make a little bit bigger of a ship. So we're going to start this video by just giving you guys kind of a, a really quick rundown of what we decided with the ship. And then we'll carry on our way. We got some work out in Aquila. Uh, that we need to take care of, as well as some other missions um, that, that I'm looking forward to. So without further ado, this is the brand new ship. You can see we have a brand new cockpit. Uh, I think it looks really good with the missiles at the bottom. We got a laser beam at the top with a couple of uh, uh, missiles. Uh, or sorry, that's the pulse cannon. This is the lasers. Uh, so some upgraded little systems to the weaponry. We got some new landing landing gear with a splash of black and red paint everywhere. We have two of these storage cargo containers. So these are big storage cargos, uh, one on each side. Uh, I think it's gonna work well. We have the new shield system. The thrusters and uh, engines are pretty much the same. I just kind of redesigned them, added a, a bottom piece here for a little bit of extra power. The grav drive and the, uh, the reactor there um, actually kind of looks like a target now that I'm looking at it, but that's okay. They'll never get behind me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but we have uh, the new fuel systems. We have a much farther fuel, uh, a much larger fuel, so we can go a little bit farther, especially with the grav drive. I wanted to not have to travel to so many planets in between where my destination was. Uh, you can see the other storage container there. Uh, but all in all, it's, it's a much bigger ship. It's not actually that much heavier. It didn't really cost me that much. Uh, we bought the parts from this planet. There are planets, uh, every planet seems to have a little bit of different designs. But for right now, this is what I'm happy with. Uh, I think it looks really nice. We'll, we'll jet on inside so you guys can have a look at the interior here and then we'll head on our merry way. But all in all, I'm really happy. It, it took me a while to kind of figure out how to, oh, to build a ship that worked and didn't, you know, just either have a whole bunch of errors or whatnot. But as you can see, we have a much bigger space in the entrance. We have four bunk beds now, so lots of room for the crew to sleep at night. There's apparently a dartboard there. We have the hatch where you can dock. Uh, a nice little common room with a kitchen, table, everything here. Uh, so a much bigger area back here. We improved it by about, uh, so it was a two by two is what they called them. We now made it a three by two. Uh, so it's about two, whatever this is across, but it's it's one whole size bigger. So that's what we got working with here in the, uh, the crew quarters. Eventually I'm gonna extend it, you know, either this way or that way uh, as we keep picking up people, but that gives them a little bit mu more room to work with. Uh, we have our little, little entrance here with our captain's locker and then the beautiful beautiful new cockpit i mean this thing is massive uh it's a little bit boxier so it's not as uh rounded but you can see the new control panel and everything and and that's pretty much it that is the beautiful new redesigned spaceship my first attempt at building a spaceship in this game i started from the ground up it looks very similar to the frontier in terms of like the design of where the parts go but it's all brand new parts Nothing really was reused except for the engines, uh, which got a fresh splash of paint. But without further ado, we are gonna dive into space with this bad boy, and we're gonna take on a couple of missions. You can see we have a lot of these, uh, uh, what are these called? Miscellaneous objectives, I guess. And then we have uh, to return to Vladimir. So I think we're gonna return to Vladimir here first to try and finish off into the unknown. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy. We, we do have a cough, sporadic O2 damage and detection event. So it's a, a lung damage, I'm not sure. Actually, before we dive off, there is a uh, medic here, not very far that I can quickly go and see if she can give me an inhaler because we're gonna have to start doing some crafting. I also started some uh, upgrades, improved lung damage. Yep, that's not a good prognosis. Yeah, I think the ship looks really good. The front is a little boxy. I kind of wish that was a little bit more rounded, but I'm really happy with the design. Um, but I'm definitely not venturing out into space if we got a little bit of a lung infection, so. Thankfully, there is a medic down in, or a doctor down in the well that we can quickly visit. It's a little bit, bit of a bad timing there to get a lung infection the second we start the recording. 
once again guys thank you so much for watching this has been a really fun playthrough like i said it's getting better and better the more i play it uh i'm really enjoying the systems now that i understand you know the ship building the crafting which i spent some time before this as well to just go in there and, and fool around get some upgrades going for our guns you'll see a couple of the weapons that we have i put some reflex scopes on i'm working on getting some silencers things like that so a lot of things to dive into there's going to be so much more i'm really 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 excited to, to continue venturing in this game and you guys seem to be enjoying it for for the most part so we'll keep posting the videos where is this there we go doctor doc can you help me out i got a cough i've got limited resource well that's what i'm here for let's see what we're dealing with good lord how do you even make it in here oh that doesn't sound good <laughs> Uh, yeah, 500 You're credits, Kira. feel this, for sure. But you'll be all right in the end. Well, Frick's up best as he can be. Thank you. All right. Uh, do you More have any medical supplies into. that will help me in things like that? Addiction systems. <laughs> There's the symptoms. Treats, burns, contusions, frostbite infections. We'll pick up a couple of that, or I guess one. We got O2 recovery, brain injury, concussion, heat stroke, sure. Honestly, I'm going to pick up a bunch of all this stuff because right now it's uh, it's definitely been a struggle in terms of this look I didn't know. I think I have some of those. I'm mostly looking for what we just lung damage right there. Perfect. All right. I think we're good. Picked up some things for different uh, ailments. All right. Let's continue. Now we can now we can dive out. Yeah, I think in today's video, once we get to Aquila City, we're probably going to look to dive into... Nope, that's where we are, sorry. We're going to dive into maybe becoming a ranger. I, I kind of get the impression that they're trying to get you to pick a job earlier. And I'm what, what I'm afraid of is in past games uh, that Bethesda has, if you don't pick up a uh, job or whatever you want to call them, a faction, early in the game, they're lost later on. So I don't want that to happen. Um... So our new spaceship kicking off here. You can see all the new systems come online. Oh, baby. Look at that beauty go. Yeah, it's, a, it's quite a bit bigger. Like I said, it, it does weigh about 100, whatever the weight system is in this game, whether it's pounds or, or kilograms, or what it, kilos, whatever the heck it is. But I'm really happy with how this turned off. Vladimir should just be on the eye here, so we can go travel to that. Now. The ship still seems decently fast. It's got really good mobility. The weaponry seems a little, I, I didn't really change it too much. I, I tried keeping that the same until we got some more parts unlocked, but yeah, you can see this bad boy in action. Still mobile, still very mobile. Still has really good speed with that extra engine on the back. And our grav drive goes quite a bit further. So pretty, pretty, pretty impressed with my first attempt at it. And this bright new red panel suit set. Uh, suits the color scheme beautifully all right so we'll have a slow this bad boy down Solid docking there. oh what I was starting to talk about was Factions. I just don't want to miss out on them. So I think we're going to accept the the Rangers. That's my favorite faction so far. Uh, and we'll, we'll, we'll go from there. Now, it does sound a little bit like a policing type job. However, it's better than the army in this game, in my opinion. The Vanguards. Now that those artifacts aren't just blips of hope in the Blackest Sea, I found an interesting pattern. The grav anomaly generated by one of those artifacts, it matches one on another planet. A bigger one. Interesting. Uh, it doesn't make sense. The artifacts are roughly similar in size. I mean, that's true. All of them have been the exact same size. The ones we found, anyway. No telling what this is, but you can feel that excitement in the air, can't you? It's something important. Going to send you the mark close as I can, but I'm having trouble pinpointing the source. You'll need to explore the area on foot. Put your scanner to work. Don't know what you'll find. Keep your eyes open. Any of the anomaly, scan it, got it. Sure. And from there, 
Maybe you catch a smile and uncover the source of it all. All right, so we got to go to Procyon, Procyon three. All right, first, first order of business is we are going to go to Aquila. We have to go visit the museum to try and get that tree uh, branch for that is one that scientist guy. Uh, we also need to join up with the Rangers. And I think we have that one mission where we were trying to help a new security girl. Uh, but it did require us to, to steal or cause mischief in front of the guards there, which if I'm joining the Rangers, I'm not quite sure that's what I want to do. What? I read your report. They sent thanks. Good job. Good job. That's it. Indicators yes. are green. Oh, we're free. Okay. All right. So let's go to Aquila, which is in. Uh, no, that's where Procyon is. I want to go to. Uh, let's see, Mary Cartwright, a bit of job. Go to the den. Where was the one? Well, we can we can just go here, deputized. We can just go. Uh, that's going to take us to Aquila City, regardless. So, see, we can we can. Well, one, we've discovered like discovered this system. So the way this game works is you can't really fast travel to a system you haven't been to initially, like across multiple light years. Um, so that is uh, that's one thing that I kind of figured out late. But now that we have it, we have enough fuel in the gra and in a decent grab system where we can actually jump farther. So this was like this was like 20 light years away. Last time we had our when our normal frontier, I had to go to another system and then jump to this one. So now we can just jump straight there from pretty far away. Now I won't be able to cover the whole galaxy because obviously it's pretty massive, <laughs> but it's a it's a nice starting starting out ship, I think. I think it just looks cool. I like the color scheme. I'm sure a lot of people in this game will use the exact same color scheme because black and red ships just look cool, but that's okay. Welcome back to our home. This is my favorite place so far, and we're gonna go join the deputies. Rock. All right. Let's take our first job. Oh, this is so cool. Seems that way. I feel for the That's... folk in the stretch. You got some business with me? Marshall sent me. Oh, well, if the marshal sent you to me, that means he's looking to recruit you. Just so you know what you're getting into. I'll explain who we are and what we do. Well, the Free Star Rangers ensure the safety and security of the Free Star Collective and its people. We might hunt down a fugitive, break up a smuggling operation, investigate a starship theft, or put some would-be bank robbers behind bars. Whatever needs doing to keep the people safe, we do. So, initially when I started the game, I said I wanted to be a space cowboy first and maybe a pirate second. If I take this, it kind of gets rid of the pirate-esque part, but we do have the bounty hunter perk, which means that we could say that we were already a space pirate. We have people hunting us, and now we want to do the right thing for the Freestar Collective, which is my favorite faction. So sounds like dangerous work, it but it's what be. I'm in for. Yeah. We tend to get called in when there's a threat too big for local security to handle. So that means we hunt oh, I'm in. the most dangerous game. I'm in. I imagine you've got some questions. I'll answer anything I can. Is it paying work? What authority do the Free Star Rangers have? Are there a lot of Rangers? I just want to know how much I get paid. I'll say right up front that if you're looking to get rich, this ain't the line of work for That's you. That's all right. I don't need to get rich. Yeah, we do get paid from time to time to help with expenses and such. I know what I need to. Okay, then. A word about myself. I'm in charge of making sure anyone that wants to be a Free Star Ranger is up to the task. That being said, the Marshal wouldn't send you here if he didn't think you had potential. So, what's it gonna be? Are you ready to sign up with the Free Star Rangers? Hell yeah. Given the way I had to bail him out, how about you give me the Marshal's job? Oh my gosh. How do I apply? Do I fill out a form? I wanna join. I'm gonna say this. 
If you knew half of what I did about the man, you'd show him a lot more respect. Uh oh. Besides, I'm next in line, and I'll be damned if I'm letting you cut ahead of me. All right, all right, relax. Might be a good fit for you. The Rangers can do a lot of good. Before I hand you a badge, I get I need a to badge. Can handle the job. You helped out with the hostage situation, but sometimes people just get lucky. Tell you what, use the mission terminal and take one of the listed jobs. Your choice. Come back alive, and we'll talk about you joining up. The music in here is phenomenal. It's literally Space Cowboys. <laughs> uh, prepare to be impressed. Didn't I already prove myself at Galbank? Couldn't we just skip the evaluation? Prepare to be oh, impressed. Got no lack of confidence, Hell no. have you? Well, let's see if you back it up. All right, where's the board? Don't worry, Sam. I got this. Kill the outlaw captain on Cassiopeia. Uh, kill the outlaw gang leader. So which one pays the most? These top two. Destroy the Crimson Fleet captain at Mufrid. Rescue hot. I'm not about rescuing hostages. Outlaw captain seems, uh... Seems more up my speed. We'll accept this bad boy. We'll come back for these as well. Like I said in the very first video, some of these contracts are, are do get a little tedious. I do like the idea of these ones because it's more combat oriented, where some of the ones on Constellation are go scan a planet and you have to find out what planet they want. Um, so we'll do a few of these on here, but we'll definitely uh, we'll definitely get this job done and come back and get our badge. There was another mission that we had here, and I was just trying to find out which one it was. Um... Trevor, hand scanner. No, it was it was the one. Uh, you guys remember it was the one where we had to get it from the museum here. Speak to is it this one? I need to get the branch. There we go. It's this one. There is a museum on this planet, in this city to be exact, that has the tree branch that the guy's trying to get research from. So if I'm not mistaken, yeah, it's just to the right here. Co Heritage Museum. She's not gonna make this easy, is she? Oh, are you a friend of Sam Co? What I the heck? I both appreciate the museum. It's about his family, after all. Hey, Leah. Hi. Please feel free to have a look around. It's the reason I started this place. I'd like to talk to you about a tree branch. What an intro. That is not something I expected <laughs> to hear today. I assume you're somehow associated with the United Colonies. I've received some odd messages of late. Helping Mass, yes. I'm more of a private contractor working freelance. Mm, a lot of that these days. You do what you have to, I suppose. But I can't see myself taking jobs from the UC. Hey, I get it. But we have to collectively let go of this feud with the UC. And besides, this is really just about... <sighs> A tree and someone who is <laughs> really, really attached to it. Are you That's facts, actually. the UC? I must say, I expected more from a co. Well, I'm afraid you've wasted your time because I'm not authorized nor particularly inclined to release any of our pieces. That includes hundred year old tree branches. Sorry, but it's staying in storage. All right, listen here. Listen here. Welcome to the Co Heritage. You're gonna, you're gonna give you're me saying, this tree branch. I'm afraid it's out of the question. No, no, no. Listen. So we need four. We got a four. Look, it's just a branch, right? A dead piece of wood. Let's just me take it off your hands. The branch is a vital piece of important xenobotanical work. I can be very annoying when I need to be. If you don't give me a branch, I won't stop asking for it. I'm gonna start with a three. Saying xenobotanical work might impress her. Now you're just not. trying to confuse me. <laughs> It's a dead branch, and it belongs to the museum. Damn it! It's just a branch, a dead piece of wood. It's Damn not it. just a branch. You if just said it was true, you have Frank. all the way from New Atlantis to get it. Uh oh, we have to go with this. Not happening. All right. Well, I can't just hand out museum exhibits to anyone. It doesn't okay. work that way. If this isn't some sort of hustle, go talk to Earl Fulton. I believe he may still have some leftover scraps. That, of course, is a different kind of hustle altogether. Earl Fulton, eh? I don't really want to steal. I, I'm not... I'm about to join the Rangers. I don't know what the hell happened here, but... 
I don't really want to steal this, even though I know it'd be probably pretty easy to steal. I don't really want to be that kind of gameplay. So we'll go talk to Earl Fulton. Was Earl Fulton the guy on? Let's see. Steal the branch. Speak with Earl Fulton. Okay. Holy. I just wish hitting escape would just close my map. All right, Earl. All this for a freaking tree branch. I love how she was like, <laughs> she was like, it's just a dead piece of wood. So I'm like, yeah, you're right. It's a dead piece of wood. She's like, it's not just a dead piece of wood. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, it's this guy. You can travel the whole of the settled systems and you won't find an attraction to rival my alien extravaganza. Oh no, this crazy guy. Confound that woman. I paid good credits for that lumber, which, by the way, she was just going to throw out, and she has no right to say otherwise. Why, if I had a receipt, I would gladly produce it. And after all that, none of my exotic beasts would even touch the stuff. In the end, I'm the one who was robbed. <laughs> I love this. This guy's crazy. Uh, and the wood could be crucial. I really need a piece of it. If it's you see, would you be willing to part with it? Sorry, what? You, uh, you're not here to settle accounts? Nope. Huh. May I ask what your business is then? Uh. <laughs> Don't say. <laughs> well, my friend, you will be happy to know that this is your lucky day. I do indeed still happen to have some of that exquisite hardwood and would be willing to part with it for just a few credits. What's a few credits, I'm Earl? Perhaps. Mm, 500 credits ought to cover the storage Actually, not expenses, bad. not to mention what it'll take to purchase alternate food supplies for my exhibits. I think that's a more than fair deal, don't you? Honestly, 500 credits is not bad. We're probably going to get way more than that just for completing it. I'm not good at persuading. I don't have a persuasion perk, so I'm just going to pay <laughs> the man. Screw what it. A, I don't want to deal with a crazy guy. <laughs> Let me just see if I can locate some of that wood. Ah, here you are. Well, pleasure doing business with you, friend. Take care now. All right, that was not so bad. So we got the piece of wood. There's one more quest here where we need to do some illegal stuff, but yeah. I honestly think I'm not going to complete that quest. Please don't do anything. If you're more uh, social than me, maybe you can convince him to leave. Maybe with a pretty please? I don't want to do your mission. I wish they would just let me help them instead of all these All right, well, that's fine. All right, so that completes that. So we can bring the branch back to Kelton Fresh. Let's go kill the outlaw captain, ladies and gentlemen. Take out the outlaw captain at the abandoned cryo lab. Let's get it. Why can't I? There we go. Green, ready for what comes next? Let's find out where this mission is. Way out here, but look at that. I mean, we can just fast travel. It's so far away. Look how many galaxies. Oh, I guess it's not that far away. <laughs> I was getting excited. Even still, though. Not having to jump to different planets is so nice. And again, part of that is um, discovering the planet in the first place and finding a landing pad. All right, it's abandoned cryo lab. Let's get it. Landing site looks clean. Let's set it down. Okay, what kind of planet we got here? That looks so cool, man. I'm happy with how that turned out. It's definitely, uh, definitely still got that same look and feel to it. But all those new parts look real nice. This isn't a bad, bad looking planet. We got a whole bunch of nickel here. So now that we have the ship upgraded and I know kind of how to do that for the future, we are going to look at building an outpost somewhere. I just got to figure out what planet I want to do that at. So I think for the next video or, or in a couple of videos, you'll probably see me venture into the outpost creation. We have a lot of crew members here that can stay. Um, Lynn, for example, she's somebody that has very, very good experience running a um, 
an outpost, so we'll probably have her tackle that. What is this? Cobalt? I don't know if I've found cobalt yet. Or nickel. Yeah, we got a new space outfit as well. It's like a golden brown one. Oh. Hello? There we go. Where's these bullets going, man? Ooh, crit. I not hit him? Oh, is he behind the door? Oh, that guy took the shot. Oh, I got a new weapon here that I bought from the store as well that we need to try out. So another thing, if you guys are watching this video and you're kind of you know, understanding what this game kind of does. If you press R while looking at a body, it actually brings it up as if you were looking at a chest. So I was complaining that there was no way to compare it, but if you look at it here, you can view what's equipped. So you can actually go into their inventory and loot it from here. Obviously if there's, you know, enemies around, it's probably not the safest to do it that way. But if you know that you've killed like the majority of people, you can quickly go in here and press R and bring up their loot. So you can see instead of like what was happening was I was like, I don't know if this is better than what I had. So I was just picking it up, putting it in my inventory. It weighs 6.3. It was weighing me down. So instead, now you can just, if you want, until you learn what a bunch of things are, that's one way you can uh, very easily kind of see what you're working with. This gun is a freaking horse, man. This thing is great. What's that? That is a very good space helmet. Holy jumpins. This guy got wrecked. Bullets. Also, bullets do not cost anything. They do not weigh you down in any sort of capacity. So it's definitely... Ooh, crafting component. It's uh, definitely wise to pick them all up. Oh my gosh, I thought that was an enemy. All right, let's go downstairs. Here we go, into the cryos underground facility there's so many things you'll learn along the way tips and tricks that i'll try and give you guys but if you're watching any content creator you'll uh you'll quickly figure some of these things out i love how sam just always has his cowboy outfit on if he doesn't <laughs> if he doesn't need a spacesuit mine's only off in settlements could sneak through there actually in fact it looks like we have to sneak through there Digipick, boom pop. Now that we're in close quarters, I can use this bad boy and see what it's like. Oh, hey guys. Oh my gosh. This gun is amazing. It does not shoot very far. That makes sense. Oh, Sam got him. Good shot, Sam. This place looks cool. Oh, there's people here. Lots of people here. Get out of my way, Sam. I do like this weapon, though. Got so many med packs. If you guys, I, I kind of mentioned it last time, but if you see me constantly healing when I don't have that much health, I do have a perk to try and heal a whole bunch of, uh, a whole bunch of, um, 
points of health. Jeez, I just had a brain fart. Like a whole whack load of, of health to get back. So I'm just trying to heal even more. There's, there's a lot of games where it's like, oh, you have a sliver of health. You don't heal for a while if you don't take anything. I'm trying to avoid that and heal when I could use it rather than when I need to use it. That guy just slid into action. Oh, that was cool. Sorry, guys. I like this. This cryo place looks really cool. It's like we're in the, the caverns of a, a dust planet. It's kind of like Mars where everything is just... Everything is very um, frozen underneath the surface. There's so many guys here. I don't know where they all are. What do we got here? Communication mail. Okay. Thing, just emails. Dun, 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 dun. Mode to play. Wait. He's running. Wait, how do I get in there? How do I get in there? Three burst shot. It's actually really good. I've gotten in the habit of only carrying weapons that have different weapon types. So like I kind of pick one, kind of pick one that I like and go from there because there's so hey buds, there's so many weapons in this game that I'm I did, I've was in the habit in the first couple episodes where um. I had the same weapon or same ammo types on multiple weapons and I was running out of ammo really quickly. So I'm starting like I've found a couple that I really like uh, and now I'm just running with those. So I don't run out of ammo as fast. I mean, I know you can buy and carry as much, but he is level 30. I mean, let me back up here and get a better weapon equipped. Oh. Uh, is he behind a wall? They move so weird. Uh, yeah. I never liked him anyway. This gun is insane, dude. The, the 11 millimeter guns are absolutely ridiculous. All right, so we completed it. We killed him, Outlaw Captain. Seven millimeter. Oh my. Is that a katana? What the? All right, well, we're definitely taking that. That's, that's for sure. That is for sure. We are taking that bad boy. What else we got in here? Anything else in here before we leave? There's still people here, it says, so. Expert level, all right. So we got this. This could go there. Do we have a single one? This can only go on the outside, so we might as well use it. This can only go here, so we might as well use this. Yeah, this, this. Then we got... Oh, no, I may have messed it up. Nope, we're good. Perfect. Hello? Oh. What do we got in here? Boom pop cherry. Coffee brewer, coffee bag. Did you pick? Ooh, credits. Super cold magnet. That's probably pretty useful in crafting somehow. I don't understand why it wouldn't be if uh, if it was locked in this big box behind a secured door. I gotta think that it's a uh, a pretty useful upgrade component. Oh, oh, 
That's not what I thought it was. Damn. All right. Let's go find out where these other guys are hiding. Another locked door, eh? Once again, this can only be used on the top one. So we'll... Might as well use what we got. Oh, did I mess up? I think I messed up. I'm pretty sure I just messed up. Oh, maybe not. Wait. I think I messed up. Dang it. Right, this is what you get for going too quickly. Oh, no. Yep. No. All right. This is what we get. So that goes there. That goes there. That's fine. I think this can't go anywhere else. So I feel like, I feel like that, that could just be a bait though, right? Cause this also could go there and that didn't go on the bottom one. So let's try it this way. Okay. This can't go anywhere. Let's solve the inner one here first. That goes there. Or I guess this is the outer one I'm technically solving. Okay, that goes like that, that goes like that. Um, what do we got in the bottom? Oof, this one's, this one's actually kind of challenging. I think I messed it up again, did I? Oh no. So that goes there, that goes there. Then we need this, this, and these two. Do we have one that looks like that? We don't. What the heck? This is insane. Hmm. Why is this bottom one fooling me so much? This can't go at the bottom. This can't go there. This can only go on the top. But now th this is the one that keeps messing with me. That can go there. That can't go. Wait, what did what just locked in? Did I double click by accident? Oh, well, it's over. It is over because this is the only other one. So, uh, yeah, we gotta start over. We're getting this, ladies and gentlemen. We're getting in here. We're figuring this out. Oh, is it different? Oh, dang. I thought it would I thought it would be the same one. That's actually kind of annoying. Okay, that can go there. That can go there. Okay, so that covers the outside ring. Then we need to find that covers the two inners. That covers that. So we have this one, this one, and this one, which could be that. So that's the inside ring. Is this and this. Now we have to do this second ring. So there's this with three. Do we have a three? We do not. So it can't be this one. It could be that, that, and then I need that and that, which could be that. So if we're looking, I think we got, if we go there and there. That's the inner ring, the most inner ring. Then we, if we go, what was the two? So there's that one. Okay, that one and that one. What was the one for the next one that we used? Uh, it was 
this guy and this guy and this guy for the next ring. So now we just got to figure out this ring, which should be really easy if we just go there, 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 there. Okay. Box must See, my very first tip that I ever gave in this game because of how many times I messed up was to solve everything first and then input them. <laughs> and I wasn't doing that for that one and that was really messing with me. But anyway, we got it. No big deal. Wait, all that for that? Are you kidding me? Oh, it's this. Might need that. All right, all right. Let's get out of here. I still very... Oh, we got another locked door. Holy job. Okay, this one's easy. A lot of locked doors in here. Uh, got that. That. I just messed up. No, I didn't. Holy jumpings. I thought I already messed up. Imagine messing up a novice one. That would have been brutal. What in the heck? another way in hello thank you I guess this is just like another way wait am I encumbered what the hell do I have on me that's so heavy that's not that heavy oh I picked up a grundle Grendel. I keep saying gr grundle grendel all right, that should be fine. Oh, hello. I am so lost. Like, there's so many things in this game to look for and to look at. Still, at, still okay for mass. How do I get out of here now? Oh, here we go. That's kind of cool. How am I? <laughs> uh, okay, we're back at the bottom. All right, I think I've done everything I want to do in here. I'm sure there's a ton more secrets. I'm sure there's a lot of things you can loot. I gotta figure out how to get the hell out of here. I'm already so lost, this is insane. We did it. We did it, ladies and gentlemen. We killed the fire captain and we avoid getting lost in space. All right, let's uh, let's go turn this in. I don't think I'm encumbered, so I should be able to fast travel to my location. Where to next? We are going to become a space pirate, buddy. Uh, where's Cheyenne? Wait, that's not where... Wait, wait, wait. Talk to Emma Wilcox. There we go. Uh, where is... There we go. Do, 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 do. Kila. Let's head there. All right, so we should be able to hand this in and join the Ranger program, which I don't really know what to expect other than I want to... I want to get myself a badge. Give me a Ranger badge. Let me go hunt down some... Some bad people. All right. We got to sell while we're here as well because I got a lot of junk on me. But the nice thing about upgrading this ship and putting those huge storage things is, is I have about 600 more mass to put stuff on my ship. So we won't need to go to places to sell as often. We can, we can definitely load um, 
load some things in a lot a lot easier. This guy should be I'll able to right up. Take a gander. Take a gander. All right. Sell. Weapons. Anything that I picked up that I I'm going to use that katana. That's just too cool. That's just way too cool. This Razorback was cool. I'm not a big fan of how it shoots, to be honest. And this one isn't that... Uh, that one's actually not bad. We can store that on the ship. Uh, packs. Constellation. Don't need this. Don't need this. Uh, helmets. Oh, yeah. That helmet was really good. So I'm actually going to equip that helmet. Uh, got the poncho. We just got to put a whole bunch of resources on our ship. But what do we got for miscellaneous? Blender. Don't need any of this crap. It's funny how many things I get in my inventory that I'm like, when did I even pick that up? But I mean, it could be things in chess. It could have been from like the beginning of the game, like a, like a right slipper. Why do I have a right slipper? <laughs> but there we go. We sold a bunch of stuff. We're back up to 66,000 credits. It took, it cost me about 35,000 to upgrade that ship, which is actually really solid. I didn't want to buy all the best of the best parts because um, what I'm working towards is uh, piloting because when you upgrade piloting, you can get up to class B ships and class C ships. Class C ships are the best. In order to get this upgraded, we're gonna to have to destroy some ships, but I figured if we join the Rangers, there's probably gonna be some captains out there that uh, that are looking to uh, fight me on their spaceship. So uh, I thought we had show spacesuit in settlements. No, it should be off. Is this not considered a settlement? Oh, it is off, Rabbit we're good. Sector. All right, let's go get our, our Ranger outfit. Work hard, I love the back. twang in the music. It go? It went great. Mission was success. I'm ready to take the next step. I hope I melt. <laughs> I don't care about this one. I'm not. I'm not a suck hey, up. Nothing. I, I love more than blowing away some bad guys. Pass your little so test now. Give me my damn badge. No, I'll just say it was a success. You did what I asked. So, let's go meet the marshal. Follow me. Follow Emma Wilcox. Hell yeah. This place looks really, really awesome. Oh, come on, Alex. We're, We're headquartered in the upper floors Besides of the Rock, you. but we also have remote stations throughout Three Star Collective Space. Helps us to identify and respond to threats more quickly. It's really not. Less than a dozen Rangers in all. We operate. Less than a dozen Rangers? Thankfully, most people respect us and are willing to cooperate. In this job, your eyes, ears, and wits are every bit as important as your badge and your sidearm. My question is, are you gonna give me a cool sidearm? Hello, deputy. Marshal. Emma. I came to be here because you're satisfied that our new recruit can handle the job. Seems capable enough, and we could use the help. All right then. Step forward, recruit. Let me have a word with you. Excuse me. I've got just one question. Okay. Do you pledge to defend the people of the Free Star Collective, even if it means risking your own life? Now, do I get a cool ranger badge and a coat like that? I pledge to punish the enemies of the Free Star Collective. Absolutely. Here, take these. You're now a Free Star Ranger deputy. I'm yes. assigning you to Ranger Wilcox for some field training. Listen good to what she tells you. Welcome aboard, deputy. I don't know if you just... Congratulations. What are you doing hiding Rangers behind that, Sam? They're lucky to have you. Wish we could throw you a welcome party, but there's work to do. We got word from a farmer on Montero Luna. She says someone's trying to take a farm, and she's afraid she might be in danger. Sounds simple enough. Time for some rough justice. Just the name, Michaela Wagner. There have been Wagoners on Montero Luna for a long time, and I'm sure they're proud of that heritage. Well, it's a moon that orbits Montero. It's got a breathable atmosphere, warm climate, and good soil for growing. Sounds simple well, enough. Most things do at the start. Doesn't mean they stay that way. That being said, best not to assume anything. Just try to keep an open mind. 
Grab any supplies you might need, and let's get going. Wait, are you coming with me? I can't, I can't use Sam? Uh, all right, well, I don't know if you guys saw that, but we just unlocked a whole bunch of new items. So, oh my beautiful, what? How do I turn, oh my gosh. No way, oh, hell yeah. Oh, I'm not using a deputy hat, I'm using the cowboy hat, are you kidding me? cannot equip this item that's stupid although i like come on now you here i can't equip i want yeah I'm, I'm not using the deputy hat are you kidding me i'm using the cowboy hat all right so we got got the ranger outfit looking clean i wish i had the badge like why can't i equip the freaking badge that's okay we'll put uh put the dead eye here over the urban eagle what is this dead I use? 7.5 mil? Okay. Alright. Let's uh let's equip that bad boy. It's got a laser sight. Pay attention to what Ranger Wilcox tells you. Uh oh, this is the greatest day of my life. I'm a freaking space cowboy. If you're looking for the rangers. All right, well, we're going to go do our first ranger mission, too. We're kind of on a little side side mission slash our new job, I guess, would be the best way of putting it. Look at this. Put her up. All right, enough Love of that. Uh, we will save it because we just did something very monumental. They wanted me to be a doctor. All right, our mission is travel to Wagoner Farm. The good thing about this is you can just be like, get me to my ship. I will put some things in my storage because we have a lot of equipment that I don't need at the moment. So let me just get up quickly. That new cockpit looks so clean. Cargo holds right beside me and we got lots of storage. Look at this. 730 mass now. That is just... Mm. Mm -mm -mm. It's gonna fill up in no time you watch though. Wait, isn't there a way to, yeah, store all resources? T, perfect. Been doing that wrong for a while too. Uh, peril, we'll store the deputy hat. We'll store that for now, we'll store that for now. Uh, packs, helmets, apparel, throwables, weapons. What can we get rid of? I wanna keep that on me, cause that just looks cool. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Here we go. All right, let's uh, let's jump it to where we need to go. Where's our first mission here? It's right near us. It's on this moon. Nope. It's on this moon. Wagoner Farm. This might be a settlement. Like uh, I I gotta start paying attention to what kind of resources are good on some planets because things like um, not chlorine but whatever the other thing's called oh. yes ma'am no contraband on here you're good to go Thank all you. clear to land so like for here if i scan this planet you can see there is quite a bit of really good resources whatever that c6hn i can't remember what the full name of it is but that's very very useful resources uh, this could be a good planet to actually put like a, a beacon on, like an outpost. You can put it somewhere where like a whole bunch of <clears throat> resources touch, so you can put a whole bunch of different farming things on there. But like I said, I'm going to explore that a little bit off off recording, and then I will, you know, set something up or pick a place and start setting it up on, on one of these next upcoming videos. We did our ship. We're ready to go with, uh, with that. I mean, look how... Oh, this planet looks great. This is a moon? Oh, look at that ship. It looks so clean. That looks like a deputy ranger ship. I actually really like the looks of this moon. This is very, very unexpected for a moon, but... All right, I'm coming. Chill. This looks awesome. Hello. The Free Star Rangers. You have no idea how happy I am to see you. I'm Ranger Emma Wilcox. My deputy and I are here to help. Now, tell us what happened. I was out planting in the fields when I saw some men approaching. They looked like soldiers with uniforms and weapons and such. They wanted to buy the farm. Didn't even ask if it was for sale. 
Their offer was so low, I told them right where they could stick it. They said they'd give me time to think about it, but if I didn't change my mind, I was gonna regret it. Then they left. They're planning to come back. They must be somewhere nearby. We'll hunt those men down like the first. I don't want to be a, a scumbag now that I'm just this. You said they look like soldiers. Any reason why they might want to want this farm in Nothing particular? Nothing I can think of, no. Truth is, we're in some hard times here. The last harvest was the worst we've had in a long time. Besides, it ain't like there's a lack of available land around here. That's, that's true. I said that when we were landing in. It looked like I had a lot of resources. How many men were there? There were four, but when they were walking away, I heard them talking like there were others. Maybe there's more out there. Plan to come back. They must be back somewhere nearby. Back behind the house are some canyons. They went that way. That place is dangerous. Steep slopes, narrow trails, rock slides, and all manner of hostile creatures, too. If you're going after those men, be careful. Oh, there's one other thing. They said they were the first. The first of what, I'm not sure. But there must be more of them coming. Thank you, ma'am. That should be enough for us to find these men. All right, deputy. Keep that weapon handy and your eyes sharp. Yes, ma'am. these guys don't know Leave it to the them, deputies. They're probably not making an effort to hide their tracks. Now, let's go and check out those God, that ship looks so clean. Let's move quick and steady. Heads on a swim. Yeah, I see any folks around here? This is a beautiful moon. <laughs> That I legitimately might make my first settlement here. I like it. Nice change of pace from Aquila City. That's what I'm saying. Like, look at this. This is a great view. Put a little outpost right there. Sidelines here are terrible. Anything could be ahead. We're, up We're behind for that matter. Eyes up, soldiers. We got some swarming sunflower. These canyons would have kept me busy for months. I don't know. Scan and pick up anything fun. Whoa. Uh. Uh. Where the heck did that one go? Did they already kill him? All right, this gun actually is amazing. Wait, am I not supposed to be coming down here? Oh. Thank you. Wait, I thought it said go into the canyons, but now my... Why is it up there still? Was I supposed to like scan something first? Probably to be honest. Wait. Look out! Don't worry, I got him. I'm guessing I had to scan something first. Dang it. See, the last time I had a revolver like this, it was very, very not good. This is, this feels a lot better. They actually give you a weapon you could use. Yeah, I guess there's something we gotta scan here. Find the ruffians by examining their tracks. Oh, is it just like a, uh oh. Several pairs of boots tracks lead into the canyon. That's a little silly, but that's okay. Not too old. It is part of the quest, Let's and I forgot to do it, so. And see if we can find more. I can't believe this planet. This is this is crazy. What does the real planet look like? The one that it's like the moon is part of. Boot tracks turn right along the canyon floor. Yep. See that. Oh, that was a cave. Ooh, I like this one. This these weapons are great. Uh-oh. This doesn't look good. The hell was that? You guys following me? Tough break. Keep up. Over. Hopefully whatever got them doesn't get us. Oh 
Level 18, baby. Let's go. See you. Come on, pop up. Come. Yep. Oh, shit. That was a close one. Well, they don't want us following if they put mines. What are these things? Aluminum? Weird that bullets are just sitting there. Oh man, I, I definitely dig. Oh Jesus, there's way more than I thought. What the heck is that? Cobalt? Man, some of these minerals do not look like what they look like on other planets. It's kind of weird. Could just be the lighting, honestly. Got some plants over here. I'm just gonna scan them quickly. More tracks. Tracks turn left. What's this? Nickel? This planet has a lot of resources. Get away from me! Oh no, I pressed the wrong button. Haha, <laughs> that was dope. Oh jeez, why is there grenades? Did you guys throw grenades at me? What the hell, Sam? Those mines? Yep. <laughs> there we go. Mm. You dead? You dead? Nice to get out under the sky. Look out! What the? Okay, okay. What the hell are these things? Oh my gosh! What the hell? This planet's crazy! What the heck am I playing? Oh my gosh, they're actually terrifying. I hate bugs. I hate bugs. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Come on, come on. Oh my sweet God, come on. He's blocked, being blocked by the other bodies. Okay, screw these guys. This is terrifying. What the heck? Pack Octomaggot? <laughs> what the hell is that? Oh, Jesus. This planet is creepy. Oh, and Pterodactyl? Herding Cockatrice Herbivore. A Cockatrice, eh? Is this Good Mythical Morning? Oh, my. Why? 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 Oh, my gosh. This is actually creeping me out. <laughs> this is actually one of the coolest missions so far. This is just a, a like a what do you want to call it? A quest from a from a faction. I keep forgetting the word faction. You're a natural. I right, screw these guys. Ooh, this is creepy AF, man. Oh, sh Jesus. Yeah, watch out, boys and girls. I want Sam's jacket. I want that leather jacket. Well, I suddenly don't want my colony here anymore. My outpost. You smell that? Oh, here I we go. That's what smoke from a campfire. They're close. Be ready. Fun times ahead. Stay frosty. They're target practicing. There's targets up there. Hey, you picking up something? Are you guys friendly? I don't want to just shoot everybody I encounter. Hey guys. Gonna have some fun. 
Hey, bud. Well now, look who's here. Ms. Wagner called in the cavalry. <laughs> Except it ain't much of a cavalry. I suggest you turn around and walk away while you still can. You look like you're 12 with a beard. Messy. Some good old fashioned talking might be the ticket. I'm going anywhere till I get some answers. You're the one that needs to leave right now. Who are you? What do you want with the Wagner farm? Oh, it ain't exactly the farm that's special. But that ain't none of your business. You think you're in a position to make demands. I just want answers, well, bro. I've got news for you. All you're getting from me is a shallow grave. So, got any last words I should try to remember? Uh, you're gonna eat those words, scumbag. I'm placing you all under arrest. If you think I give a damn about the Free Star Rangers, then you've got no idea who you're dealing with. Matter of fact, that just makes it even more fun. Air him out, boys! Uh oh. We've been found out! Don't let him leave here alive! Oh. You're done. Oh my gosh, she's got a laser gun. Okay, apparently this gun doesn't do a lot of damage. I lied. Nothing personal. Where the heck did he go? Dude, this gun is so inaccurate from range, it's ridiculous. Shooting the dead ain't glamorous, but it's your problem. Oh, ow. Oh, 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 oh. What the? Surprise, dude. Okay, his armor is insane. What the? Why are you punching him? Ow. Dude, stop tanking. Do we put him under arrest here, boys and girls, or do we shoot him? Dead. Job's done. Damn, that was a lot rougher than Ooh. I expected. Furious tombstone. Nah, already got a better tombstone. Oh, lag. That was laggy. All right. I love how Sam was like, we should probably do some talking. And then I like go to talk to him. He's like, you're mad. <laughs> hey, we completed that achievement. Healed 20 times. If you're uh, really too tired to pick up those valuables, I will happily help you out. I've had her, Sam. I don't need all of it. What we got here? Anything good? Got to read that note here in just a second. All right, let's read the note. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do. Inventory, new items. Where is it? Last job's done. My contract on the inside came through and I've got your ship. Grabbed it right out of the factory. How embarrassing for Hope Tech. It'll drop it off agreed upon location once the credits are in my account. If you need any other ships, Jack, let me know. So they're looking for a ship. I wonder if the, the farm had a ha ship there. Find anything interesting? Show Slate, take a look at this. Let's see what we have here. Hmm. There's probably a ship in the barn. So their ship was stolen from the Hope Tech factory. Whoever pulled that off must have been one hell of a shipjacker. Well, I guess someone really wants that farm bad. Speaking of which, let's get back there and let Miss Wagoner know that she's safe. For now. Wait, I'm a little confused. So their ship was stolen. Is it not at the farm and that's why they want the farm? Or... I'm a little confused what just happened there. Oh, well. My job's done. Let's, uh, let's go to Wagner Farm. That was cool. I like that. Hunt down some people. That guy was tanky AF and he didn't even have anything special on him. That's that's the typical Bethesda approach to, to quote unquote bosses though, is they just give him more more health and she is a beauty. Everybody's always fond over their their first ship. Kayla treats us fair. What happened? Did you find those men? I did. They were in the canyon, like you said. Unfortunately, it came to violence. They won't be troubling you again. 
I'd always heard the Freestar Rangers were dependable. And now I've seen it firsthand. So who were they? And why do they want my farm? There we go. We don't know. They wouldn't talk. We have a lead, but it's still too early. Know anything about stolen Hope Tech Starship? I like that one. Hope Tech? The cargo ship company? Sorry, I don't know anything about that. Well, we have a lead. They say the Rangers always get their man, so to speak. I'm sure you'll figure it out. I can't thank you enough. I'd hate to be remembered as the wagoner who couldn't hold on to the farm that's been in the family for so long. <laughs> I'm not going to be a dick now. Of course. All the same, I'm grateful. She'll probably pay me anyway. If you have any anyway. more trouble, give us a call. We're in system, so it won't take long to get someone out here. All right, deputy. Let's get back to the rock. We need to report this to the marshal. 7,300 credits added. Let's go. So I actually thought maybe that girl stole their ship. That's why I was saying that. Like, folk here. I thought maybe the Hope Tech stuff. What in God's green earth are you? A blue mox. Holy jumpins. This is some alien farm crap going on. I like it. Yeah, anyway, my theory was maybe in this big barn or something, they had their stolen ship and that's why they are attacking them. But it doesn't appear that. She clearly has nothing... She has no idea what the, um, I'm not going to steal from these people. What am I doing? She had no idea what we were talking about. So we'll go back. We'll report our findings. We have a lead. I like this. I like this game a lot. I'm enjoying this game more and more as I play it. Uh, I want to equip the samurai. <laughs> I'll probably like never use this, but man, this thing looks... Oh, ho, ho, ho. hell yeah. All right, let's get out of here. You tell Cora we're There's back. another, uh, you should tell Cora, time to tell Cora. Have any new books for me? I do not yeah. actually. Uh, what I was gonna say is another tip here, guys, if you'll see these beds around, make sure you are actually sleeping as well because one of the, All right, Sarah, get it. Jeez Louise. One of the, the benefits you get from sleeping is when you wake up after sleeping, if you slept enough, you'll actually get a buff. I don't know where I can view it. Where can I view? Uh, I might not have it at the moment, but you'll get a buff that is saying well-rested and you actually gain benefits from being well-rested. So it, it lasts about 30 to 40 minutes, I believe, of real time. So make sure you guys are resting. Go do a bunch okay. of stuff, but keep up with your you rest because it actually does help your health. Kind of cool little thing. I don't know. All right, it's raining. Could have a bumpy ride back. Yeah, that planet doesn't look like. Doesn't look like it's in a in a. Like this this moon looks so nice. All right, back to Aquila. I mean, Aquila's a pretty nice planet too. It's just it's more more barren and dust ridden. All right. Oh, we got to level 18, so we do have a perk point. Well, we'll figure that out in a minute. I'm not in major rushes to get them because of the way it works. Like, you get the perk, then you get the little mission, you do the mission, you can upgrade it again. But it is good to uh, not forget to level up. <laughs> I don't know what he's giggling about, but... Back to the rock. You have a nice day. I love this city. This is this designer. Whoever designed Aquila City should be very, very proud. This is a very phenomenal cowboy in space little ranch they got going here. I mean, to be fair, they're all the cities look great. We haven't been to Neon yet, which is the, like the cyberpunk esque city. All right, let's go talk with Boss. First mission was a success, and we have a new hey, lead. Deputy. Lisa DeMille live. Uh, I can't remember how to get there. Wait, she was trying to talk to me? Wait, I can't remember how to get... Oh, okay. How do I get up there? Hey there, deputy. How did I already get lost? Dang it, I'm already lost. This doesn't look right. What the heck is this? Okay, 
Okay, so he's up. There we go. Found it. What's the story on Montero Luna? That call we got from Wagoner Farm turned out to be a little more interesting than I was expecting. Some men were trying to run the Wagoners off the land. They tried to buy it first, but when that didn't work, they turned to threats. We confronted them, and unfortunately, it came to violence. None of them survived. You helped someone in need and came back alive. That's a job well done. Thank you. <laughs> Shall we celebrate? There's still some unanswered questions. I agree. Until we see the whole picture, we won't know if Miss Wagner is truly safe. What did you make of these men who were trying to take the farm? Well, they weren't that tough. They were well armed. What I made of them is corpses. I wasn't really paying attention. So yeah, probably mercenaries. If that's true. Then someone must have hired them. Now, did you find anything that might give us a lead on why these men wanted the farm? Uh, they hired someone to steal a ship from Hope Tech. Hope Tech ships ain't exactly cheap. That thief could probably tell us a lot about these men you ran into. There's something else. They were dressed in Freestar Militia uniforms. The unit badge was yellow on black with the number one. Didn't you fight in the Colony War, Marshal? That sound familiar at all? The first cavalry. I was in that unit for a while. But it was disbanded decades ago. After the Battle of Nera. What was left of it anyway. Alright, finding the starship thief that those men hired is our best lead. That still doesn't explain why they want... I mean, that doesn't really explain why they would want Wagner Farm. What happened to the Battle at, of Nera? Could those men be veterans from the First Cavalry? What was the Colony War? I mean, it still doesn't explain that. No, it doesn't. It just raises more questions. It's a good bet that starship thief can help us get some answers. The Hope Tech factory is in Hope Town on Polvo. Nia Kalu's our ranger stationed out there. She can introduce you to Ron Hope, the president of Hope Tech. He might be able to help you find the thief. Just make sure you stay on his good side. He's on the Council of Governors, and they're the ones we answer to. Okay. I'll do what I have to. What can you tell me about Ron Hope? That won't be a problem. Good. We got this. The last thing I need is the council breathing down my neck. This is your assignment now, Deputy. Work with the other Rangers. Find out what you can about those men on Montero Luna. Meantime, I'll look into a possible connection with the 1st Cavalry. Good hunting. All right, go to Polvo's orbit. We got another, uh, we're gonna see this one through. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna spend this whole video doing our first Ranger mission because it seems like it's getting a little juicy. Hope you guys like the Space Cowboy stuff. Like I said, I mean, I'm not going to be able to do everything in my playthrough. That's the beauty of this game is you can do a billion things, um, but you won't be able to do all of it. I mean, I'm sure there's people out there that'll be able to find a way to do literally everything because I got to think if you join one faction, it might be more difficult to do things for the other faction without pissing each other off. But, um, but uh, I chose to do free freelance or uh, whatever they're called. <laughs> the Cowboys is what I'm calling them. Cora's already finished the pre-flight show. All right, where do we got to go for this next part? Uh, we got to go talk to the Hope people on Narion. Valo, all right. Mayday, Hope Mayday. Uh -oh. This is Freestar Ranger Nia Kalu. If anyone is hearing this, system's failing. Need help. I Who are you? Need help. This is Freestar Collective Space. Hold while we scan your ship. Or Neo Clue sh ship. And that's it. You're clear to land at Hope Town. So this ship right in front of me here. Coming. That didn't sound good. All right, let's slow slow the thrusters down. Let's dock. That ship looks cool. We're coming. What the heck happened to these guys? 
this mission just keeps getting like, crazier and crazier. Like, what's happening? I'm gonna pull out a gun just in case. Okay, everything looks fried. Ow. Wait, they have three levels to this ship? How do I do this? All right, my ship's got some work to do. This isn't where they are. Seems like they're up one. How do I get off? Oh, there we go. What happened? Oh, this ship is crazy, yo. Please tell me you're here to help. Not to try and steal my ship. I'm Ranger Deputy Mr. <laughs> Ranger Deputy Mr. Webb. Uh, I gotta show my badge, man. That's why I got it. <laughs> you need my help. Uh, I'd laugh if it didn't hurt so much. I was tracking a crew of outlaws that's been preying on merchant ships. Bastards got She's the got a ranger on badge on her hat. I ran them off, but they got a few good hits in. As you can see, I ain't in much shape to make repairs. See if I can get you flying again. We need to get you a doctor. I mean, she doesn't look too great. I'll be fine once the pain medication kicks in. The priority right now is the ship. Can't do my job without it. Just patch her up enough to get to Hopetown. The rest can get fixed up there. All right, on it. Thanks. I owe you one. Yes, you do. Rangers I'll get always that. got each other's back. Sam. <laughs> Sometimes things are funny because Sam's not even standing here. All right, talk with Sam Co. Get up here. This ship is way better than mine. Now I feel like my upgrades are stupid. Sam, what are you doing? Oh man, I can't wait to get my ship looking like this. Okay, who know? Yeah, this uh this kind of puts my ship a little bit to shame, I'm not gonna lie. One more. Whoa, whoa. All right, ship should be functional. I really want this cockpit. This looks freaking awesome. Thanks. That should get me home. Those outlaw ships still need to be dealt You're with. Right. They were pretty beat up, so I don't think they got real far. But if they make it back to their hideout, I might never find them again. You need me to kill some ships? You can't let that happen. Just tell me where they're headed and I'll ha handle it. They look to be heading for Polvo's Moon Miatha. Good hunting. Hell yes! Oh, you better believe I'm dealing with some spaceships. This is why we got our new, this is why we upgraded our ship, everybody. Okay, get up! The ladders are a little weird. A little funky, but that's okay. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to hunt down some I mean, my ship just looks like trash. Could, uh, really bend your ear when you got a moment. Yeah, I know. I'll talk to you when we're done with our mission there, Sam. Right now, we got some bad people. Oh, I got to undock first. Uh, there we go. Yeah, that spaceship is huge. One day, I'll have a nice big spaceship like that. Multi-level. The ship's no longer docked. We're free. All right, we gotta go to a nearby system, I'm guessing. Just the moon, it actually looks like. So we'll fly, uh, I don't think we need to land on the moon. I think we just, I think we just gotta go there and they'll be in the orbit. Let's go get them. Got ourselves some cargo. <laughs> Not today.
pressed the wrong button. Full throttles, catch him. this sailing i also didn't adjust any of my uh i also didn't adjust any of my systems so they were all really bad like my ballistics missile was at one i points in a grav oh well i the, i will be the first one to admit that i suck at the, the space part but we'll get the hang of it i mean i haven't had too many experiences that was my second time space battling but yeah like i probably should have adjusted the grav to have a little bit more shield i could have taken the engine down a notch and put it into ballistics there's a lot of things you know, you'll figure out what to do and then you'll be a lot quicker at it. But in the moment, I'm kind of so hyper focused on just not dying. Like my hull only took a little bit of damage there. I, I didn't have the best shield management. All right. Where we got to go now? I think we might just be able to go here, which is back to back to the ship. Hope Town. We got to go Hope Town. Nice. Let's go, baby. We'll get the hang of it, ladies and gentlemen. It's it's a little it's it's one of those things that I'm not the most comfortable with the control, so I have to like be right there in the moment, hyper focused. But it is fun. It's just tough. We're gonna do a quick scan for contraband, and you can no be on your way. Sounds good. You're good to go. All clear to land at Hope Town. But we'll put a lot more into grav here for for a little bit. Go to Hope Town. We'll land there. All right, another new planet. We're continuing with this mission. We took care of the pirates. That is three destroyed ships from my mission of piloting too. So out of, I think the first level requires five destroyed ships. That is three. Ooh, this place looks interesting. It's like a little industrial plant. That's cool. But I was happy with how the ship performed because it is quite a bit bigger than my previous ship and it felt like pretty much the same. It handled just as good and the mobility is still really high. That was one thing I, even because it's heavier, I wanted to make sure that the mobility was still there. And I think we designed it in a way where it is. God, that, that looks absolutely beautiful. What a stunning vehicle I created. <laughs> All right, what do we got to do here? Uh, just talk to Nia Kalu and we do have a point. So yeah, we're at three of five ships for that. Security is at, can I get it? All right, there we go. We can attempt to hack master locks and four auto attempts can be banked. I wanna get this up full. That, that's my first thing is to getting that up full. Yeah, I like this place. Definitely looks like a starship factory. Hi guys, trade authority. I need to sell some things. Uh, weapons. I don't think we have anything to sell weapon-wise. Spacesuits. Maybe I don't. I think I just need to store things. Hi. Rangers. This is us. This is the Rangers. I work here. Nobody's here. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me. A little desperate here. Hi. This is such a long shot. All right, Adela. Deep breath. Hello? Oh, God. <laughs> well, you wanted right. to talk to me. Talk. Right. When I signed on to be a freight captain, I was expecting long hours and dull routes. And now I'm a hair away from being executed. Or what? worse. Wait, what's worse than executed? I'm a captain, too. Us captains need to stick together. Just tell me Where what's to wrong. start. So, I fly a rust bucket called the Markab for a small shipping line. Just started, really. We do bulk shipping, boring stuff like actuators and seed stock and minerals. Have you ever had a standard boring job just blow up in your face? 
Huh. Lots of people just use people like us without giving a shit about us. I look at situations like that as opportunities. Uh, a week ago, I would have said something different, but yes, absolutely. So I just got assigned to the Markov. The first shipment, slag steel. Nothing special. As soon as I left Neon and got scanned, things got crazy. Spacers, Freestar security, the works. Everyone demanding I power down, hand over the contraband, or sometimes just firing first. I skipped like the system, ditched the cargo, and have been running ever since. Tell me how I figure into this. I'm getting to that part. Sorry. A Spit trapper it out. just landed, and I just know he's hunting a bounty. Me. But the trick is, everyone knows the ship. But my info isn't in the database yet. All they got is my last name, Fahim. So if you go into the What's pit stop and claim your Captain Fahim <laughs> of the Markab, maybe you can deal with the tracker? Oh, man. A tracker? How am I supposed to deal with the tracker? I don't know. I don't want anyone to get hurt. But he may not give you any choice. Why would I do that? Listen... I just told What's this guy well, doing? Garbage. But you, I mean, you're armed and look well, awesome. I figure you could do a solid for the little guy, uh, girl. Plus credits. I did mention the credits, right? Now we're talking. You are the best. This slate has everything they know about me. It's not much. He's Get the one with the here. cowboy hat. Just stay safe. Thank you. This was literally nothing until Markholm came here. Uh, when that time All right, well, we I have Captain's Bounty a new mission. So I guess technically that kind of like you're yeah. you're rude. Yeah, you're rude. I guess technically that's not an illegal thing. She's just trying to stay safe so Hello? I can go meet with the tracker. And if he wants business, then I can be like, yo, badge. And he'd be like, all right, all right, whatever. Or I'll just shoot him in the face either way. But well, we're gonna go talk to the people moment? of Hope Tech talk? first. Uh, yeah, what's up? I don't know about you, but a fella could do a lot worse in Constellation. Yeah, sorry if I'm a little out of it. Didn't get much sleep last night. Lillian and me, I tried talking with her and I lost my cool. Got a little heated. I know I woke Cora up. On a small ship, everyone hears everything. I hope Cora didn't hear anything. Sorry, I'm busy right now. How does Cora? Yeah, I mean, well, everybody does hear everything. Me up at night, like everything, everything. Just so you know, there's a long, uh, proud tradition of singing in the shower. Ah, Lillian, she's an incredible woman, truly. But it is always, and I mean always, about the job. When she bleeds, free star colors spill out. Back when I was a ranger, we were quite the team. You must be sorry behind why you stopped being a ranger. I bet you were good at being a low man flirt. You like being a ranger. I'm meant to be on my own, exploring the great beyond. It calls to me. Maybe it's Solomon saying hello. But one day, I was just done. No particular reason. It had been building for a long time. She tried to convince Lillian to leave it behind, come with me. She shot me down. Hard. Hurt my pride. More than a little. She was probably right. If you're that unhappy, you did the right thing. I feel bad for Cora. She didn't even consider it. Eh. eh. We were making each other miserable. And that war on poor Cora, too. It's funny, our latest argument started because Lillian thinks I'm putting Cora in too much danger traveling with you. I mean... I mentioned the idea you had about maybe Cora staying with Lillian if things got too dangerous. Suddenly, she was all excuses. She's always going on that she doesn't see Cora enough. And then I try to take her up on that, and yeah, fireworks. <laughs> if I met Lillian, I'd have a feeling I wouldn't like her. Uh, yeah, I mean, nah, don't be. It's always I guess something. it's kind of my fault. I mean, Cora's you're not wrong. Cora too, being with Lillian. us is very dangerous, but always it sounds like Lillian's reasons. a bit of a biatch. Last time I think Lillian got a medal for it. But then again, who knows if Sam's actually Lillian's telling the truth? Excuses don't matter. Poor Cora cried for a week. I don't want to put her through that again. 
Lillian's part of her life. It's not healthy to keep them apart. Tell Lillian that. Give her a chance, but make her understand she has to follow through. That is true. I mean, if, if I she wants to see her kid, to she should see her kid. Industrial strength earplugs. Uh, for now, Lillian's going straight to voicemail. <laughs> so Jesus. everyone can sleep easy. All right, let me not get any further in this. Uh, let me not get any further in this relationship issue. It's not my, it's not my responsibility. You made it. Those outlaws didn't give you too much trouble, I trust. Uh, they put up a good fight, but I got them in the end. I'm lucky to be alive. First things first, how are you feeling? I can walk, talk, and breathe without too much pain. That's good enough for me. Then, no trouble at good. all. I'm sure it didn't hurt that I softened him up for you. You've got good timing. A courier just came in from Aquila. The marshal sends his regards along with a briefing on your case. I was surprised as hell to learn about the starship theft. Nobody said a word to me about it. Anyway, Mr. Hope can see us whenever you're ready. If you need to take a little time first, feel free. Uh, I'm ready. His office is upstairs. He's in a meeting, but it should be wrapping up. Come on. I don't want to hear any complaints. Keep an eye Trucks on Trucks in yes. space. <laughs> their motto always cracks me up. Is that what their motto is? It's amazing. Uh, is there a walk button? Sneak is... Not the same. Doesn't look like it, eh? Hago always run. Yeah. Don't think there's a. Uh... He's on the Council of Governors. The Council. I just want to get all these approvals. My walking is so much slower than theirs. I've spent a long time trying to build a good relationship with Hope. <laughs> he comes on a little strong, but there's a lot to admire about the man. I don't know why. Everything you see around you, he built. Pretty much everyone in this town. dust Hope's except for the factory. Building. Can't begin to imagine the kind of pressure that must put on someone. All I'm saying is, try to show a little respect. Hello? Just a ranger on official ranger business, no big deal. <laughs> Is it just me or does every executive in the cubicles. have an office on the top floor? Uh, I guess being above everyone makes them feel like they're, well, <laughs> above everyone. I feel like you complain a little bit about where you work there. Unless you don't work here, I don't even know. She has a ranger cap on, so. decision that's got to be made upstairs hmm. well, talk to elaine about the scavengers it's not a bad idea provided we get a good deal and i don't mean a fair deal i mean a good deal cool remember it's not just our bottom line that matters we're also responsible for the welfare of everyone in the factory <laughs> we look out for our people here Bridget. that's a point Great personal pride. Um, excuse me, uh, Mr. Hope? Well, now, the Free Star Rangers. At last! <laughs> ah, damn, good to see you. I think we're done here, Bridget. Yes, sir. This is the deputy I told you about. Split. Uh, I feel like the music is a little, still a little too loud. Controls the volume of in-game voices. Sure. Yeah. Splendid. It's a noble calling. Music's so story. loud in there. We certainly could use more of you. Let's get down to it, shall we? Time is money. I'm sure I don't have to tell you what an outrage it is to have a ship stolen right out of the factory. Oh, justice must be done, and the sooner the better. Found your stolen ship on Montera Luna. I'll do everything I can, but I make no. Did I find it on Montera Luna? That's. Did good I? News. I'll send my people over to bring it home. Of course, that doesn't mean your work is done. 
I want the thief found and prosecuted to the full extent of the law. I'm sure I don't need to remind you of my position on the Council of Governors. Yes, sir, Mr. Hope, you can count on me. I'm aware of your position. I don't give a damn about your position. Then I trust that you know what I expect of you. Now, tell me that you've at least got a lead of some kind. Hmm? Ship was delivered to a group of men who are trying to acquire a farm. Of course I do. A group of mercenaries hired a thief to steal your ship. Yeah, so I mean, this is this is the closest thing that I know. This is the most relevant information we have. Now what happened after the ship was taken doesn't concern me. What does concern me is making sure that this doesn't happen again. All right, well, Rowan. I'm not sure I can be much help, but I'll answer whatever questions I can. Why didn't anyone report the theft? Good question. Because I told them not to. If word got out, it would do irreparable harm to our image. I'm in fierce competition with other Starship manufacturers. Any sign of weakness could be fatal. Uh, what's more, every Starship thief in the settled systems would, would likely flock to Hopetown and start planning the next heist. Okay, I guess. What? Nonsense! We vet our people thoroughly here. Hope Tech holds its employees to the very highest standards. Nevertheless, I suppose I could have Cosette conduct a, a thorough personnel review. <laughs> Rest assured, if we turn up any evidence that one of our people was an accomplice, I'll let you know. Okay. Did anyone see this? We questioned everyone who was in the building when it happened, and not one person seems to have seen anything at all. Frankly, I think that's both highly unlikely and more than a little suspicious. However, I can't deny there are times when the hangar is empty, so it's not inconceivable the thief could have slipped in unseen. No, nothing at all. It was just a, a standard Hope Tech cargo hauler. Okay, so it was but a not hauling. That it didn't have great value, mind you. Hope Tech builds some of the most durable and reliable starships in the settled systems. Now, you can bet my ships last twice as long as anything Stroud Eklund makes. Very well. I need you to understand something, Deputy. This town is home to men women and children who depend on Hope Tech for a living. I provide jobs that put food on their tables and a roof over their heads. It's a responsibility that I take very seriously. If word gets out about the stolen ship, my investors will lose trust and my workers will pay the price. I can't allow that. You've got a reputation for looking after your own, Mr. Hope. I'm sure the deputy here will keep that in mind. Is that so? Well, I'm glad to hear it. I've worked hard to make sure that everyone here is well cared for. See, here's the thing. I don't believe that, and that little smile you're doing right now makes me not believe you even more. You only care about your reputation. You don't care about... Mmm... I understand your position. I hope so. I'm sorry to interrupt, Mr. Hope, but there's been a development. Uh oh? Oh, no, Cosette. I'm in the middle of something. What do you got Concern. for me, Cosette? We have new information. I've just received a report that the stolen ship was seen landing at Neon <gasps> just yeah. after the theft. A breakthrough at last. Well, deputy, it sounds like you'll be heading to Neon, which means I can get back to work. Remember what we discussed. My people are depending on you. No, you're depending on yeah, me. Your ass is on the line. What's up? Where are you going? Hello? Yeah, I don't know. I think he's just only looking out for his own job and his own reputation. He doesn't care about his people. 
But well, that wasn't as helpful as it could have been. Still, at least you know where to pick up the trail. We're going to make Paul it's enough to go on. I was hoping to learn more. Yeah. That was a waste of time. I mean, we we do know that the ship, the stolen ship, was landed on Neon, so... Let's hope. So, guess you're headed for Neon. There's a ranger stationed there. Jalen Price. Price. Okay. He's a little different than the rest of us. But a Neon's a different kind of place. Jalen Price, got it. I don't need anyone's help. How's Neon different? What can you tell me about Ranger Price? No, we're he good. He should be able to help you out. Well, we've both got work to do. It was good to meet you, Deputy. Thanks again for helping me out up there. Thanks for setting up this meeting. No problem. Good luck on Neon, Deputy. All right, 7,300 credits. This is making, I thought they said this wasn't gonna be a lot of money. We're making absolute bank doing this. All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, we're, uh, we're headed to, we're, we're headed to Neon, I believe. The Shadows of Neon. So we completed the first part where hope is built. Um, we do need to go back to, uh, da, 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 I guess we need to go to Pro Procyon. Um, let's finish up this mission, because I think this mission will probably, there's an, one last anomaly that he's detected, and it's a bigger one. Let's at least go there and see, uh, what the mission entails and if it feels like it's going to be pretty long then we'll probably wrap up this video and start that next mission but we'll continue our ranger space mission where we're hunting down the thieves of uh the hope tech starfleet basically they're stealing ships from hope tech um we'll we'll look to finish or, or start the neon mission i don't want to go to a whole new a planet town, these... um yeah oh we also have this girl this guy's still just standing there it's a little weird bro uh captain's bounty so there should be place in here where we can go and help out that captain all right there he is it's kind of cool a little pit stop for pilots as vital hey, as spaceships i'm new in town you look like you just got here too right what's your name stranger i buy you a drink so uh uh this could get dangerous but here we go Fahim, huh? Came in on that ship, the markup. I bet you didn't know it, but I'm a tracker, and I'm here for your bounty. Are Two you ways my friend? This can go. You know the drill. You don't seem bad, but I haven't done anything wrong. Let's not do this. You got me. I'm very surprised. Can we come to an arrangement? Are you going to shoot me here? A bounty? Why me? Let's just say we we can talk about this. I don't deal this. with smugglers and no good types. Well, I do, but more violent like. My words, my bond. You don't seem that bad. I haven't done anything wrong. Let's not do this. So you didn't shoot your way off Neon Fahim? The bounty is pretty damn clear. But something don't sit right with me. Not sure what. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm tired of this cat mess. Oh, I'm so bad at persuading. Adela doesn't deserve a bounty on her. The whole thing doesn't add up. Surely some credits can resolve this situation peacefully. I'm not the real <laughs> Captain Fahim. My name's Mr. Webb. I might try. I'm not going to just... I'm going to... Oh boy, Maybe I'm not. so bad at this. So we need to get four points. You seem like an honorable man. You wouldn't kill an innocent. You're the one that said this smells fishy. Trust your gut. Yeah. Yes. Nothing about this. Two more points, baby. You seem like an honorable man. Deep down, you want to do the right thing, and killing me is wrong. Everyone's after this shipment. Whoever hired you is lying. The Let's go. Is awfully large for what they're saying. All right, I'm not taking you in. Well, that just means somebody else will. Whatever you are shipping, you got to return it. Are you the looking off to the side? probably won't be as upstanding as I am. Thanks for the advice, but I got it covered. Unfortunately, I jettisoned the cargo. All right, thanks for the advice, but Suit I got it yourself. covered. But you may want to re-up your life insurance policy. One more drink and it's lift off. All right. Okay. Hello. Well, we, uh, we successfully got one bounty hunter off her case, so at least she'll be somewhat safe for the foreseeable future, but she's got to get the hell out. This can't be happening. Convince the tractor to let you go. I feel like I can finally breathe again. Thank you. Commerce. The only way the corp will ever let you go is returning the car cargo. I mean, that's... Figure I got a reward. I'm not really that type anymore. I'm getting paid for my work now. You're right. I'll 
Let's see what I can do. You're a literal lifesaver. Take this. 3,300 credits. Let's go. Hell yeah. I actually love the way my ship looks. It's probably like there's there's a billion people that got way better stuff than I got, but I don't know. I think it. I just think there's something about creating your first ship in games like this and having it work. That was the biggest thing is I I spent like two hours customizing a ship and it was either too heavy, the balance was off because like when you're customizing the ship, you have to take all that into mind. You have to take in the distance, the fuel, the balance, the weight, all that sort of stuff. And it was actually kind of tricky to get it to work. So once I finally got something, the design that I like and was able to get it to work is really cool. It just looks nice. It looks way better than what we had. All right, well, again, new lead from Hope Tech. So that'll be good. But right now we gotta go to that planet to find, um, to find the next artifact that seems to be bigger, which is very interesting because they all have actually been the same size. Scanner anomaly, let's go land there. Oh, this game's so much fun. But I really am enjoying this the more and more I play it. Landing it's one of those games where I feel like I can definitely uh, definitely get lost in it. I'm definitely not also not gonna go exploring at nighttime. So I think I'm gonna go rest and I'll show you guys when you do rest what the little message pops up where it says yeah, you're fully you rested. So hopefully people aren't asleep in the bed. So I'll wake their Your butts ship? up. Okay, so it's 2139. We'll sleep for a good amount here. Uh, 12 hours, 11 hours, 10 hours, so 21, 22, 23, 24. So 10 hours would get me to 7 a.m. 7 whatever a.m. So like most games, I think Fallout also had the same thing where you would uh, sleep to get a little bit of a benefit or it's, it's definitely just a progression of time, which is obviously really good. Is way All right, so it's a little bit earlier than I thought, 6.30, but there you go, top right corner. You awake feeling wet, re awake feeling rested. Wow, that's a bit of a tongue twister. Hey, and there yeah. is a buff. I can't remember where I saw it last time, whether it's just in the, it's just on this screen. And scanner and look for distortions in your field of view. Follow the distortions to the source. Okay, got it. Uh, I don't know where it actually says that. Where is the buff? Wanted to be able to show you guys, but I can't. I can't think right now. Doesn't matter. Either way, you do get a little. Oh, status. There you go. Well rested. So for twenty three forty nine, I have ten percent experience gain. It's pretty cool. Just a little tip. All right, we got a beautiful little planet. So what am I looking for? So follow distortions in the scanner. This way. Yeah, it's this way. Oh my word, look at this place. Must have already been here before and I've scanned a bunch of these animals. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not here to hurt you. Relax. Chill. Ah, corrosive gas, damn it. Wait, it's really... It's tweaking out this way. Bet you it's in that facility. Heck are these little things? Oh. Oh no. Oh, what the? Stop moving so fast. What the? What the heck is this thing? Come on. Dear God.
All right, everybody chill. Investigate the source of the anomaly. All right. I'm not sure if we'll uh, fully dive into this place in this episode. We might start the next episode with this building. Because this looks like it could be... Unless it's not a building, it might just scan the outside. This place is crazy. Freezing liquid environment. I am just taking unnecessary damage after unnecessary damage. Whoa, this is, this is crazy. This artifact's huge. It's like a maze. Where do I go? Wait, where actually do I go? Wait a minute. Oh God, am I gonna get stuck in here? How do I get over there? Oh, this is gonna be a little puzzle to figure out how to get in, isn't it? This liquid is freezing, so I gotta be careful not to touch it. Oh, whoa. All right, Vladimir wasn't lying, this is crazy. Full ETA. Oh boy. Uh. Uh. What the? Wow, this keeps getting weirder. That's what I'm saying. You get the feeling that this room is watching us. That looks like the artifact we're trying to build. What the? I don't know if the, I think this is what I'm supposed to be doing, going towards these things. It's now this thing's speeding up and getting all colorful. Well, this is nuts. This is so crazy. Oh. Whoa, he just got yeeted. Investigate the source of the anomaly. Like when I was going through the those things at the beginning, they were making noises when I touched them. And oh, I did it. Whoa.
to equip your new power. Press tab. If new I power. With my own two eyes, I wouldn't believe it. Hell, I still don't. Select the area at the top to enable your new power. Anti-gravity field. Generate a localized field of intense low gravity and behold a planet's true power. Excuse me? Um, wow, I apparently got powers now. What the heck did I just witness? I don't really understand what the power does. Let's see. Anti-gravity field. So I'm guessing it just like... Seven undiscovered temples. So I'm guessing it like just like puts an area with zero gravity and maybe things float in it, like aliens and stuff or like creatures. All right, well, I think that's as good as any spot to, to end this episode. I mean, I don't even know what I just saw. We just unlocked it. power within us based on going to this ancient temple. But we're definitely gonna have to go back to the lodge and figure out what the heck we just saw. But Sam, you're in for a crazy ride there, my friend. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Like I said, the more I play the game, the more it's getting, it's just getting better and better. And we have so many crazy missions to still do. We're, we're hunting down our first ranger job, figuring out who the thieves are of Hope Tech. We just, witness this beautiful looking planet by the way we witnessed this whole thing we have a power i mean it's getting crazy but anyway thank you guys so much for watching we'll be back here for episode five in the next couple days uh but yeah thank you so much for watching leave a comment like and subscribe and we'll catch you back here in the next one thanks guys